Thank you. Um, so I'm going to provide an overview of CTE, including uh, variations in how students participate in CTE, the possibilities of being involved in CTE, and some promising outcomes that we're seeing in the research. So what is career and technical education? Um, CTE encompasses coursework and programs that prepare high school students for high demand jobs in their community and provide pathways for post-secondary education and careers while they develop college and career readiness skills and knowledge. The key point to take away from this is that CTE is helping to prepare students for both career and post-secondary education. Next slide, thank you. Um, so when students take CTE coursework, they can pursue it in several different ways um, called pathways. Uh, the first are those students who really concentrate in one area of CTE. So they might decide that they're interested in health sciences or manufacturing and pursue all of the coursework offered um, within that content area. Um, the next area are those students who are explorers. So they may actually take the same number of courses as a concentrator but they're exploring multiple career pathways. So they might do some health sciences, some manufacturing, and some agriculture coursework or the course of their high school career. Next are those students who are samplers. So they might take a few courses in CTE, but they don't really take a significant number or really concentrate in one area. And last, we have the group of students who uh, don't take any coursework in CTE uh, during their high school career. Um, it's important to note though that states define each of these four kind of categories of students um, differently when they're looking at the outcomes associated with them. Next one. Uh, one advantage of some CTE programs is the opportunity to earn stackable credentials. So students who achieve certificates in high school may be able to stack these credentials um, in post-secondary education and work towards more advanced degrees. So an example of this would be a student who takes health science coursework in the high school and they earn a certified nursing assistant certificate and then they decide they they then they uh, start working as a CNA and decide to go back to school and pursue an associate's in nursing. Once they have their RN from that associate degree, they might work in the field for a few years and then return to get their BSN in nursing and get more uh, specific in the area of nursing that they wanna work in. They can work for a while in that career field and then return again to get their master's and potentially later on, go back and get a doctor of nursing practice. Next slide. There are also some really promising research outcomes um, that we're starting to see with CTE. Um, so one of those is that CTE concentrators are more likely to be employed than students who don't concentrate in CTE in the first five to eight years uh, following high school graduation. Also, for students with disabilities who concentrate in CTE, they're, all, they're more likely to be employed following high school graduation than students with disabilities who don't concentrate in CTE. Students who concentrate in CTE also can earn more um, after high school than their peers during that first five years of graduation, um, up to 20 to 40, 12 to 40% more. Um, in addition, uh, CTE also helps students pursue post-secondary education. So CTE concentrators are more likely to enroll in a two-year college than peers who did not participate in CTE. Um, they are more likely to attain an associate degree than similar peers who did not. Uh, concentrate in CTE. And for those students who decide to pursue a four-year degree um, and have taken CTE courses in high school, the probability of graduating with a college degree increases by almost 2% for each of the advanced CTE course credits they earn while in high school. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Dr. Bradley. 